the last book haul of 2023. <laughs> we haven't been here before, guys. Never. Haven't been here before. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and this is Books Forever After, where I sit on my floor, we talk about everything and all things books. So I have quite a few books here. Um, this is from Christmas, Black Friday, and library sales. Let me, let me count. I don't know how many. <laughs> I always forget to do this. <laughs> it's, we have an even number. 40. <laughs> we have 40 books here, as I mentioned. Library sales, Black Friday sales, and Christmas. These are all the books, so these are all the books that I got from in November through December. Even though it's technically 2024, I'm still going to count it as 2023 book haul because it was in 2023. I'm just now posting it 2024. Details, sweet tales. That's how it is. <laughs> Start. These are books that I was able to find at a library sale. And well, they actually was like a stand in library store, actually, one of the libraries I attend. And I have a few historicals. Um, a lot of this is fantasy and a few contemporaries as well. So the first six I have here are historical romances. I was able to find um, this was at a library sale, Julie Garwood shadow music i don't know which this one is from they never really say but anyway so i'm trying to um i'll be posting my 2024 goals here in a few probably in the next couple of videos that i'll be posting and one of them is i um, there are certain authors that I am going to be tracking the backlist to try to read their backlist. I don't know if I'll technically read all of them in 2024, but Julie Garwood is definitely one of them that I've pretty much read her backlist 15 years ago. Um, but I do want to read um, more of her backlist again. So we have Shadow Music there. And I will show the step backs if I have a step back, but I just don't. That one doesn't. Um, and then this one is Lorraine Heath. The Earl Takes a Fancy, and this one doesn't have a step back. Um, this is part of the Sins for All Seasons novel, and I recently was watching, oh, what's her name? Affy. Um, I don't know her channel name. I'll put her channel down below. But she gave this series all five stars, and I think she read them in 2023. So the fact of the matter that every book in the series was five stars, I must read them. I think I have all of them except for the last book, which it'll take me a couple months to get through the whole series. So I'm sure once I get to it, I can, um, if I'm not able to find this, the last one in the library sale, I'll just uh, try to find it as a used book online or something. Sounds, I think they're all bastards like all the I think they're like sisters or whatever but it follows a family like a found family which I really like so I don't know exactly the detail of this one because I haven't read it but um I've read one Lorraine Heath and I two Lorraine Heath and I do enjoy her book so ho I'm hoping to really enjoy this one next I have two from Christina Dodd this one is Someday My Prince this one has a little insert step back which I like, that's kind of really intriguing. I don't know which one this one's from, but I do I do remember, she's one of those um, OG auth historical romance authors that I remember really enjoying, and so she's one that I do also plan to read her backlist as well. And then this one is Christina Dodd, Taken by the Prince. And I'm gonna, so we have that. And this is like a little step back here, like a scenery with him standing like that thinking man almost. And then I have two by Lindsay Sands. Um, this one is The Switch. I think this one is one of our earlier ones. Um, 
Not sure. Yeah, it's 1999. So technically, it's just, it's a vintage. I think anything before 2000s is like considered a vintage historical romance. So we have this one. Um, this one has disguised, um, where the heroine disguises herself as a boy um, in order to, to protect her sister. And, and yeah, so hidden identity trope. Sound really good. I know April really likes this trope, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. And I do really love the cover of this one. The art on this is really, really nice. And then this one, I don't... It looks so strange. It looks like an 80s. Okay, it looks like an 80s movie cover and... I know, I'm living for it. So it's called The Deed, and it looks like this. And so I think this one is basically another virgin widow. Sounds like it's a medieval English, England one. Um, yeah, it's a, because it's a feudal England, so I think that's where that one is. So that looks, in, it, that just intrigues me. I almost would think it looks like a vampire novel, so really, really interesting for there. So yeah. And then next I have a uh, couple B, uh, B. E. Schwab and Victoria Schwab. So this is her YA. This is The Dark Vault. And I think it has the first two novels. I don't know if it's a quadri quad, I don't know if it's a four book series or just a trilogy, but it has the first book, two books, of The Dark Vault. So we have that. And then I was able to find the second in the one that I recently, just recently hauled from the same place. But this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Eventual by B. Which it's really, really cool. Um, and it's a signed copy and it has a bonus, a bonus story as well. That looks, that's really, really cool. Um, that I definitely want to read those two. I think it's just a duology, so it's, like, why not? So yeah. And then I picked up a science fiction because I do want to break into more just regular epic fantasy and just science fiction as well. And this is Adrian Shishkovsky, um, Shards of Earth. And we got that here. Um, and then, so those were all from the library sales, and the rest is, um, the first group here from the Black Friday sale, um, was a couple weeks before Black Friday, and this is the one where I showcased, no, I didn't, no, it was the next one, okay, so the first one here is Assistant to the Villain, I have read this one, this copy does not have the red, um, red sprayed edges, which is fine, um, because the first, I think the first edition had the red sprayed edges, um, this is from the same um, imprint that did Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, so Red Tower books. So I've been definitely more interested on the books that they're releasing because they're focusing more on new adult romanticy. So I'm really, really excited about that. This is truly like fairy tale esque fantasy rom com. It's really cute. <laughs> it's mainly it's very light hearted, and. There isn't really much of a romance in this one. It's like the budding of a romance. I think the, and there is no spice. I think the hero and the heroine maybe kiss once. And my light just went, hold on. And the heroine maybe just kiss once, but, but yeah. So really good. I gave it a four star. Um, looking forward to him <laughs> late as well. All right, well, what did it make do everybody? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really cute. There's even like a, I I think he's a prince turned into a frog, you know, um, and he just holds up signs, so it's really cool. So, definitely interesting, really enjoyed it. Um, so basically she gets a job as assistant to the villain, um, and then she's working with him for a couple of weeks. I think it's more like a crush, and it's like an office kind of style romance, and find out that there are people who are out to sabotage the villain or, you know, 
or kill the villain so she has to kind of solve who who that is as they might may have a mole inside the office so she has to help investigate that and then i picked up two books from Kenny ryan i think this is one of her earlier works um that bloom no forever published i saw this at target called when you are mine and then loving you all loving you always i think there's three in this one and they look like they're pretty small books uh, first fell in love with her by reading um before i let go and i just read the kingmaker so i'm making my way through her backlist and she's going to be like an auto buy author from now on she's like an absolute favorite contemporary author she writes really emotional and angsty romances and just i just love it and then um yeah and this is all partly like the buy buy one get one half off kind of a thing sales and my husband actually picked up this bulk of it as well for me so he was so sweet we have the trilogy of the dreamland billionaires by um lauren asher we have uh, the fine print which i did read on kindle limited a couple year years back and i really enjoyed it i haven't read these next two in the series so we have terms and conditions and final offer which i hear that this one is a second chance and you know how i love second chances so i'm really looking forward to getting to this and i'm most likely will probably read these more time in like the early like spring summer time because that's usually when i'm really in the mood for contemporary romances the most and the next deck was within black Pride as well and that this one is uh, in this next stack i actually showcased in my iron flame spoiler reading vlog but we have the rebel king so book two and the kingmaker series or duology technically so yeah i definitely want to get to this really really soon this is probably in february i'll get into this one um i did read book one in december and then here yeah, the dark romance is still beating by Jennifer Hartman. I haven't read her uh, this one by her. This one used to be indie published and was like on Kindle Limited and I don't know if it still is but I know I heard a lot of people talking about this on booktube. I think I first heard about it from Peace Love Books years ago um, and this one is they are both kidnapped by a serial killer and they kind of like have a trauma bond and he's actually the I think her sister's fiance and so it's a little bit of forbidden very dark angsty so when i'm in a certain mood i definitely want to read this one so i love the angsty angsty books the next is a curse for true love by stephanie garber i just read a ballad of never after i'm looking forward to completing this and i definitely will, will probably pick it up this month or next month for sure because i definitely want to finish this this one out the series out I've heard mixed reviews that, I don't know, I'm kind of apprehensive because I've heard people were kind of let down by this third book so that it didn't really resolve a lot of things. So, well, anxiously awaiting that. All right, and shifting over here. And next I have, um, I heard this one by Joanna, by book, I think it's Pixel Joe here on, on YouTube. I think it's books by Joanna Books with Joanna on Instagram. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. Um, but this one is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. I haven't read this one either, but it's basically similar to like a Trials or a Games kind of a thing. And that is just, they fall in love. I'm like, that's, that's just my bread and butter. Like I love, give me Trials, <laughs> give me academic setting, magic school. I don't know. It's just, I just love those kind of tropes. Uh, it's, it's, it's just one of those tropes kind of a thing for anything that's what I grew up with, you know, Hunger Games, Harry Potter, those kind of things. So definitely looking forward to this. Um, it doesn't look too intimidating. Um, I think this is her first adult debut. So I know she typically writes YA, I hear. So looking forward to this one. Next is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I have the library bound copy that I found at a library sale so I think I'll probably just redonate that one back to the library. Um, this is the fully revised version. It's a 10th anniversary special one as well and I believe they're doing that with all of these because I think it was like one of her early works and she's just revising it 
um, to improve upon it and things like that. So looking forward to reading this. I believe this is a sci-fi or fantastical kind of thing. So I don't know too much about it, but I am really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's like sci-fi. It's like in the future. And I love that cover as well. And then I have um, Cassandra Clare Swordcatcher. And this one is really junky. <laughs> I am definitely wanting to read all of Starting for the Mortar Instruments with this author as well. Um, I'm trying to pick up those ones at the library sales as I can, but I'm really interested in this one. This one is set in Italy, I believe, and it follows the body double um, of a, he's a body double of a prince, and she has like some, she's a witch, I think, has like some sort of secret power or something, and they both uncover something within a city, some insidious thing. I believe that's the blurb, but sounds really, really cool. And I have heard mixed things, so I don't, so I wonder how I will um, feel about it. So yeah, looking forward to picking this up too. And then finally, I have um, Brandon Sanderson's Arcanum Unbounded. I actually, this was actually from order off of Amazon because I'm actually going to the Cosmere journey as part of my 2024 goals and so I'm starting with Miss Bourne this month and I there are this is a collection of novellas um, it doesn't have all of them I think it's missing one and they're reading one that I'm following reading what I'm following so I'm um, looking forward to uh, this it's gonna be really nice to have to be able just to go and read as I need to in the order on like when I need to read which novella at a time all right and these last two stacks here are my christmas presents that i received this first stack was actually from an amazon like a that i got on amazon as a gift card that i received as a gift so really, really excited about this so these first three um two are historical romances one is a paranormal romance these i got as used on amazon and i think i actually got all of them through some sort of location of this i think it's half price books reselling on like selling on on amazon so the first one is Cressley cole a hunger like no other i think this is the first one so i really wanted to start this series i think we'll be reading this in september or august to get started with the you know that's usually when i'm in the mood for vampire romances so looking forward to that and i just love this style of the cover i don't know i just i just love that so the next I have Shannon Drake, Bride of the Wind. I just love this. This is a second chance, kind of like revenge. <laughs> second chance, marriage in trouble kind of a thing. And I just, and he's a pirate romance as well. So that looks really, really cool. It sounds cool. Um, I first saw Maggie haul this uh, from Maggie's book and stuff. And I'm ready for a buddy read. So I'm hoping to buddy read this with her because uh, that just looks divine. And then next, which is something I'm hoping to read this month as part of the Once Upon a, the Frostlands, Once Upon a Readathon, hosted by Hannah from Hannah Blackwell. And that is Judith Ivory Beast, which is a beast-inspired retelling. And it has this lovely, lovely step back. I think it's a little bit of like Phantom of the Opera-esque a little bit. I think he's just a scarred hero, so it could just be like, you know, Beast, but um, that looks beautiful. <laughs> Uh, from the blurb, um, she is, I think, betrothed to him, and so she has to travel on a boat to England to get with him. Um, however, he secretly, at um, she is, she has heard rumors that her intended is scarred and like basically like a monster kind of a man, and so she's a little apprehensive about it. And he secretly goes onto the boat um, to kind of just, you know, get to know her a little bit. But they end up having a tryst time together on the boat um in darkness and so you know she never knows that it's actually him and then when she meets him there so it goes and it goes from there so that premise sounds really really interesting and i'm like forward looking forward to, to doing that so it looks really really pretty and it has a little side there as well all right next for some fantasy some ya i first grabbed what was it 
Oh, I have grab I grabbed the dance with these and then I um someone was saying that you actually need to read this series first because it's in the same world and certain things it's kind of interconnected and certain things will be spoiled if you or don't make sense if you don't read the trilogy first. So that trilogy is the Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Um, I have it's the The Beauty of Darkness, The Heart of Betrayal. And then the kiss of deception that may be out of order i'm not sure <laughs> but i believe this is where there's an assassin and then the prince and then she's trying to escape somewhere and she ends up meeting one of them she which one which love interest is this the the prince or the assassin so that's really cool and this next YA trilogy, oh, and I also, I was able to get all of these as a set on Amazon, so it all came as, like, a book set. So this next trilogy, I got as a set as well, and it was highly influenced by Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. She's, like, she, this was, like, her all-time favorite YA, um, fantasy novels, and I've never read this author before. I know they're Strange the Dreamer, but they're, that she's really known for, and I do want to eventually read that one. But this one is the Smoke and Bone Trilogy, I believe it's called. And I love these covers. And they're really nice, floppy, like paperbacks a little bit. So we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Looks gorgeous. Days of Blood and Starlight. And then Dreams of Gods and Monsters. So this one's really, really a little chunkier. So I definitely want to read these this trilogy very, very soon. So maybe for Pharaoh Feb for February, read that read these this read this trilogy. And um I'm really, really looking forward to it. Alright, last stack. I my most recent oh, the bride by Julie Garwood vlog that I did, my reading vlog and shopping vlog. Um, these are the books I pick up from that and with one extra as well. At the Barnes & Noble sale, I picked up these here. Oh, which, spoiler alert, I did not know this, but Barnes & Noble, they did have the 50% off sale of hardcovers. They had 33% off, which is a third off, third of the price. But for members and premium members, I think you basically got $20 of rewards for every $50 spent and that was amazing and I was almost really kind of disappointed because it was, it was a lot of people there <laughs> books were flying off the shelves um and I was disappointed because the I was able to find a shadow and the umber here by Jennifer L. Armentrout but I was able to order the rest of the series that I needed because I already owned from Blood and Ash but I wanted I had read all the books books one through three of from Blood and Ash and I read the first one of Shadow Ember from my library and I absolutely have loved the series it's like an all-time favorite but they were able to order for me at the bookstore so if you go into the bookstore and they're not there you can order it and have them ship it to your house but you'll still get the discount that's in store discount which is really awesome because they also had a like select books were on 50% off online but these books were not on as part of that deal so these came and I was such a happy happy camper when these came in and they came in so well packed nothing was damaged it was so great so I have um this is the a flash and fire novel this is the sister series so this is a shadow in the amber book one um a light and flame A fire and a flesh and then a kingdom of flesh and fire wait no wait <laughs> that's the first one so those ones are like the sister series so this is like a death and um let me pick it up all right this is like a death in the maiden retelling death in the maiden um and it's the story of the maiden that poppy hears about in the from blood and ash series and I am so ecstatic. I I love the hardcovers. I've seen the paperbacks of them, but I just prefer the hardcovers in this series. And I'm just 
these are pricey books just for one so to get these on a discount was amazing so so awesome so i did get a membership at barnes and noble um but i got the free membership one I have those ones and then i got the rest of the from blood and ash series so i already own from blood and ash as i said then i have a kingdom of flesh and fire the crown of gilded bones The War of Two Queens. And then The Soul of Action Blood. And I believe there's supposed to be maybe one more coming for being released. I think in each of these series. I'm not I'm not too sure. But I'm definitely gonna be doing a reread. <laughs> I'm hoping to reread from Blood and Ash this month. And I wanna reread like the other ones as part of Fair of Feb in February, so I definitely have an ambitious TBR and I just, I can devour those books in like a couple days. I just, they're just so addicting and I love it. I love every one I've read so far. And then I um, have, I picked up While I Was There. So I had a Shadow of Ember I was able to pick up in store. And then I also picked up Outlander by Diana, G Diana Gabaldon. This is part of the read, -al read along that Jen from the Book Refuge is hosting and it's going to be like every a book every two months or so so I think the live is going to be in February. I'll put that information down below and her channel um, but this um, I watched the first four seasons I think but I never read the books because I felt like since I was introduced to the show first I kind of felt kind of spoiled kind of thing to be reading the books so I'm interested on See how I think about this. I do like the math paper faculty. These are really nice, loose binding, loose, oh no, a little floppier paperback, and I, it's really nice. So, um, so yeah, looking forward to reading this. I definitely want to read this this month as well. If not, it'll be the first one I read in February. So, definitely excited for that. And then I think this might actually be my favorite. So I usually try to at least buy my top, like, top three fantasies and like, or favorite books of the year um, as soon as I can. Maybe not always in January, but as soon as I can. And I think this might be, I think it's April's as well, because we've read this as part of our read along or our book club um, in October. And this might be my favorite, like, fantasy romantic of 2023 it's uh, the crown of oaths and curses by jay Bree, and i just i just love it i it's true enemies to lovers like there's it, this is a romantic but it hasn't there's no romance in the first book it's a slow build slow burn and i tell you what he better he's got a grovel in book two so bad <laughs> but so it's true enemies to lover he's like baited mates he hates her, hates her people, basically unaliving genocide, her people. And it's very, it's a very epic fantasy because they also, um, the writing is very immersive and such superb writing. You feel immersed and it's amazing, the detail in this forest. I just, I just, it's, it's perfection. And I don't know if you have to read this. <laughs> the only downside is I wish the two prequel novellas, The Scepter and the Sword, were in here or at least available physically. But yeah, I think those two, you ha I think you have to read those novellas because you get where um, their perspective before, right before they have to meet when they find out um, who their fated mate is as they're making their way. This is where they first meet. So definitely highly highly recommend that is it <laughs> so a lot of goodies so many goodies i am just so tickled <laughs> i'm so excited I have so much to read i'm looking forward to so much to read i can feel like i have a good slate to reorganize my mother <laughs> where i can reorganize my shelves because right now these have just been hodgepodge <laughs> Lately, I do want to bring in my historical romances to my front Kia shelves here in my living room. So definitely working on that. So those will be coming soon. Now that I can do that, I'll be doing a reorg and then physical TBR and a bookshelf tour. So 
this is uh it's gonna be in a few weeks so <laughs> those those uh it's coming so much so much stuff to to film <laughs> i'm forward to doing that let me know if these those interest if you um if any of those are really interesting to you if you read any of those and you really love them let me know um and which ones do you recommend that i need to start first those are all the books that i got for the last book haul of 2023. As always, I'll have my links down below, my Instagram and my Goodreads, as well as my book wish list. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.